Next question is, hey, Fritz, how would I help my clients to lower their protective guard faster? Great question. Uh, so the biggest thing with lowering your client's protective guard and having them open up faster has nothing, nothing to do with how hypnotized they are, how deep they are, how suggestible they are. And this is something that is shocking to a lot of people, but I don't do any of that shit. And my clients open up to me within five minutes, like fireworks for some of them. And even if they don't have fireworks within five minutes, they really get into some really deep unconscious territory within minutes without those things. So that alone proves that that shit is not necessary to lower your client's protective guard. And if you are someone who really doesn't like the deepener's adjustability, the induction, and all you want to do is help people and go into conversations with clients that completely change their lives, then listen up. Because let's let's think of the different reasons as to why a client would have their wall up, right? The biggest thing really is the fact that we have alerted them that our session has started, right? It's just like in the dentist, you know, you go into that dentist and I don't know, are, are you someone who actually likes going to the dentist? Because I don't think I've met anyone who loves going to the dentist, but I don't hate it, but I actually don't love it either. And it's kind of like you sit in that dentist chair, you're like this and you, your mouth is open and they're like, they're going in, right? And you're like, ah, it, there's that um, there's that anticipatory anxiety feeling when you know that a procedure has started. And so what is the first thing in traditional trainings that you would ask your client to do? Close your eyes, take a deep breath, right? Look up as high as you can and then close your eyes to stimulate the alpha theta brainwave state. Start with that. And then that process of hypnosis starts, right? Typically, that's how we were trained to do the hypnosis. And so when I talk to you and I tell you, hey, close your eyes. How does that feel in general, right? That just feel, you will feel some sort of guard up, even though the client is there for a result you know you're in that dentist chair that pressure is already on so one of the biggest reasons as to why a protective guard is there is that a client is perceiving that the therapy hypnosis process has started and this may seem very innocuous but this is the biggest reasons as to why their guard is up and that's why we need like 10 to 20 minutes to help them to go down to hypnosis and relax which again is unnecessary so instead of doing that shit why not just say Hey, how are you doing? What is your problem today? What is it that you need help with? Because what is that? That is a question, right? And immediately when clients gets asked a question, they will naturally just want to answer, right? Because questions lead to answers. And if I ask you a question right now, you're gonna think of the answer, what is your favorite color? You've just answered that whether you like it or not. <laughs> and so when you ask your client a question, they will naturally answer. That's how conversations are regularly. That is how we communicate as humans, right? And so when you just communicate with your client, that is going to help them to be, to open up more, especially, and this is a huge caveat, especially if you listen a hypnotherapist coach counselor is not listening if they are reading a script that's the fucking opposite if i am reading a script right here if if i have memorized an induction if i have memorized the swish pattern or sleight of mouth language patterns i am 
creating something. I am doing something. I'm not really listening. I'm talking at my client. I am not listening. So therefore, if I am only talking at the client, that already eradicates one of the very, very most important principles of communication that can lead the client to open up more, which is listening, because that, none of that's happening when a client, uh, when a therapist is in their head. And don't worry, I used to do this too, because I was trained that way. So if so, just ask the question, ask questions, start a conversation. It's like your warm up, right? You want to warm up before your heavy lifts. This allows the client to naturally just go with the flow to really connect with you, which then will lower their guard. That just makes sense, right? And so when you do this, your, your sessions are going to be a lot more powerful. Like I said, my clients would open up about things that they will never, ever, ever, ever say to anyone else, often within the first 10 minutes of our session, because of this very simple principle. And because I don't have to do any of that bullshit of induction or opening up beta, theta, alpha brainwave states, like none of that shit was required to have a client open up. Just be a really, really good person who listens, but very strategically <laughs> listens. This is what we teach inside our not hypnotic questioning trainings, strategically listen, because that is what's going to help you connect with a client. And if a client connects with you, then they will lower their guard. No rapport, no pre-talks required. If you keep on doing the rapport, the pre-talk, it's very artificial, right? It's just like, the dentist is saying, okay, so I'm going to drill your teeth here. And this is how it's going to work, blah, 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 blah. It's like, well, well, thanks. Like it's, it still won't <laughs> reduce that anxiety when there's someone inside your mouth, right? And so skip that shit, skip the rapport, skip the pre-talk. You don't need to do anything, just listening, because by being that person who actually listens, that will automatically and naturally just lower your client's guard instead of talking at them. Same shit. If you are doing rapport, if you're doing the pre-talk shit, you are the one talking. <laughs> the client needs to be talking in the session, not you, right? They're the star of the show, not the hypnotist. So I hope that this helped and this made sense. Try this out. Let me know how that goes. I'll see you around. Let's make a massive impact together one conversation at a time.